Hello friends, welcome to Mindy's bathtub time. Happy to see you here. Happy to see me here. I'm happy to be here. I love this bathroom. It is, it's where all the magic happens. I don't know exactly how or why, but it has this amazing sound to it. So you can make all the sounds and it reverberates and it sounds like I'm in a recording studio, but I'm really not. It's just the sound of my voice and the metal tub and the tile walls and the small place. And the fantastic light show that I give myself every morning. This is what self-love is all about. Oh, and I've been learning how to draw tattoos. I got this really cool black tattoo ink that you draw on and then it um I'll link it in the video so you guys can check it out um try not to show myself here it's the trick of the bathtub videos is if I show myself it might get nicked off but uh whatever we're all naked somehow somewhere sometimes we know what it looks like trying to be sexual I just think the body is beautiful all shapes all sizes no matter what I used to live in northern California and it was so cool and so freeing they had this amazing um hot springs everywhere where you would go and people were nude and my favorite one was Harbin and that's where you'd see the most body types and it was like old young fat small tiny large however you call it um beautiful in every shape in every form the way that the body changes as we age the saggy balls the saggy tits it's still so beautiful so raw like big bigger people or some would say fat I said fat I don't mean to be rude I guess it's a common term that just flies out of our mouth is also so beautiful all of the venus goddesses not venus all of the greek goddesses like venus and aphrodite they were big and beautiful and curvaceous and full of life and love and snuggles and oh i am happy with my body absolutely and that is why i find every other body fascinating because they're all so different um so love your body, love it in all its form. That's what today is about. Love your body, love everything that you have. Love the challenges you have with your body for that's what you came here to go through. If you don't have challenges, you'd be bored as hell. So it's, it's just fun. It's fun to love our bodies in the forms that they are because they become more productive, they become more alive, they become more appreciated, they become more vibrant just by our thoughts thinking about them as being beautiful. And I have my bad days and I'm sure y'all do too, but it is such a gift to be in a body experiencing whatever the world is throwing at us and to appreciate it and love it. Make sure that you're moving your body daily. Movement is key, especially if you're stagnant, you have depression, you have anxiety. These are all emotions that are trapped. And they're trapped, depression is emotions trapped in the past, focused on emotions of the past, focused on things that hurt you, harmed you, aren't good, should have done, would have, all that is shit. It doesn't matter. It's shit that's gone down the toilet already. Flush it already. Goodbye. Thank you. Welcome to today. Anxiety, living in the future. When am I going to pay? When am I? How am I going to get this? I want to be married. I want to have this. I want to have that. I want to have this. And then I miss everything that's right in front of me. And then we are all so guilty of this. It's stupid. It is stupid. I watch this in my clients all the time where they get someone. They've been wanting someone in their life for a long time. They've been wanting love. They get love and they panic and they freak out and they find anything wrong with it. And then they ruin it and sabotage it when that's all they wanted. And it's really funny because they're so focused on this want that when they get it, they don't know what to do with it. Instead, focus on today. Focus on the gratitude. Focus on how amazing your voice sounds in the bathtub. Or how you love your fingers and they can rub your face and it feels good. And you can make your own self feel good. Or what delicious water you have. I have well water where I live and every day I'm just like, ah, oh, soaking up the minerals and I'm so blessed that I don't have to worry about 
chemicals and chlorine and I can just drink out of any faucet around and I feel so blessed. I want everyone on the planet to have access to that kind of water. It's a shame. It is a shame, you know, to not be able to have that. Um, and that's just one of my things. I think everyone needs their basic needs met. And if this planet could provide that, which we very well could if we all came together, which is what the virus is doing. It's giving us a common ground to stand upon. It is also showing people almost like COVID has become a religion. I, like people are fighting people. I've even gotten into arguments with people. We've all been guilty of it, but it's like, my way is better. Listen to me. This way is better. Listen to them. It's a religious battle all again, again and again. And it's just showing us how much we want to control everyone and we want them to be exactly what we want them to be. And we're not happy that way. So I want you to practice today just unleashing, appreciating, appreciating even that people have opinions about things that don't have to bother you. It's just like I'm a, I, I eat everything and then I have friends that are vegan who are very much against animal products, all of that, and yet we can sit at the same table and share a meal. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, you make your choice, you make your choice, and because I love you, we meet in the middle. Even if I don't love you, we meet in the middle to have a good dinner together. Like, we can all eat at each other's tables, no matter who we are, and be kind and respectful. Um, so, why I did this is open up. We had a new moon, and when I unlock, this is an unlock motion. I'm going counterclockwise on my third eye, and I'm unlocking the energy. It's an energy portal, energy channel. We have seven main ones. We have way more than that all over our bodies, but this one I feel right now is where we need to open our minds to unlimited possibilities. And instead of unlimited fears, unlimited possibilities. Okay, so what if, you know, everyone's having a freak out attack? They're going to force us to vaccinate, force us to vaccinate, la, 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 la. No one can force you to do anything unless you're willing. I don't care what it is, what it is, what it is. I don't care. They cannot. You can walk away. You can choose a different way. You can choose out of the system. You can choose anything you want. Stop freaking out. You are a free soul in a body. And if they trap you, if you're in prison, if you are incarcerated, if you're somewhere that you can't get out of, guess what? You still have free range of your soul. You get to use this beautiful gift of the third eye to open up to the possibilities of being other places. I have a favorite place. I call it the tree of life. It is the tree of life. Many of you may not believe me and that's just fine and dandy, but I've been there. I've been there many times. I lived right next door to it and it gave me more gifts and more beauty and more vision and more connection than anything in the entire planet. And that place is so vividly emblazoned in my mind that I can close my eyes and I can smell it I can walk into it. I can see everything around me. I can see all 22 trunks of the tree pushing outside of this giant rock on this hill. Looking around, I can see the woodpeckers. I can hear them. It's always surrounded by woodpeckers. And I can feel the earth mother belly. I can even feel the moss. That place is so... Mm. <laughs> I always kiss her belly. She has this big, beautiful one of her trunks. has a giant belly that looks like a big pregnant belly, and it's covered in green. Um, kind of longer, not wet moss, but like a light green. I'm not very good with my mosses. Drier moss. Ugh, it was always my favorite. I would just lay my head, lay my mouth, kiss her, thank her for everything. Incredible. Incredible. That tree told me my son was coming. I had no idea. That tree told me many secrets of the universe. That tree showed me my connection to everything. Beautiful. And I can use this gift that I have, that I've practiced, that I've opened up my pineal gland, that I have used my other visions to see other dimensions, other spirits, and I can go somewhere else if I'm trapped somewhere. So no matter what, 
No one has an excuse if you can use the power of this. So visualize if you have a perfect body, you're not even satisfied with what you have, but there's goals you have in mind. Visualize you're already in that body. Visualize that every day and it will become so. Your vision will change. Your body image will change if you're dedicated. I know it sounds silly, but we are creators. We are gods. We are the creators of our universe. All of this external stuff is a reflection of what's going on inside of us as a whole. So look inside, turn to nature, love her, reflect her into yourself as you are her beautiful creation. And you have a beautiful day. And I love you all. If you, any of you feel lost, want to get on a different path, I am an intuitive, I am a medium, I am a channel. I can tap into anything, any space, any dimension, any creature, any person that is past, if they're willing, um, any ascended master to your own heart. I do readings, they're called the destiny path, and they get anyone that is not on their path where they feel like they're not being fulfilled in their work or in their love or in their life. I get you back to why you came, your basic imprint and how to use your tools, your gifts that you've been given. You already have all these things. I just remind you they're there. Book on my link or you can call on the number above. I love to be able to help people. It is why I am here as well as to dance and to sing and to prance. But I have been gifted the power of inner sight, inner knowing, and inner heart, inner intuition. And I know how to use it, and I know how to help you use yours as well. So get back to yourselves, love yourselves, and please DM me if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. Happy weekend! <laughs>